Hey everybody, it's episode 5 of Black Sails. I just watched episode 4. Uh, fire is the, the word of the day. Uh, Flint took on board a lot of different opinions in this episode. A lot of people came and talked to him. Uh, Elner came to try and talk him out of it. He asked uh, Silver what he thought. He asked Scott what he thought. Hornigold, we know what he wants. He, he was there whispering in his ear. Uh, and we heard what Flint himself, you know, his own position on that boat. He feels like he has a hand, and it's not a great hand, but he knows that this hand beats Vane's hand. And the alternative is to shuffle the deck, and maybe he'd get a better hand, but he doesn't know he would win in that other situation. So weighing everything up, he wants that Urka, he wants that gold, he's uh, he's firing. Or at least he's given the, the order to fire. We don't know what's going to happen in the next few seconds. Maybe it'll be countermanded. Maybe something else will happen. Uh, we also have the Abigail Ash story. Thane has her, she's his guest uh, in the fort. And Mrs. Barlow has just found out about her. And she is the daughter of someone who they were friends with back in the flashbacks, which is not that long ago. I would say, hmm, I don't know. It's, there's probably an exact year. Actually, you know, there is an exact year because uh, the first episode of season one had a year. And the first flashback of season two had a year. And I don't remember either of those numbers, but there's a definite, there's a definite amount of time. Um, it can't be that long ago because they're both, they both look similar to how they looked. Um, let's say it's 10 years. It's probably a little more, maybe a little less, but probably a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Last episode were with a lot of people meeting up and talking and trying to convince each other to do this, do that, to compromise, to let go of their egos. A lot of people listening to advice and ignoring advice. Elmer is like a go-between between Vane and, and Flint. Um, she was the only one to go on the boat back and forth. And she wanted she wants Flint to stand down and she's at least in some way supporting Flint, or Fane, <laughs> uh, a little bit. Um, Max and Jack and Anne are working through their differences, working around their differences, and talking about their differences openly to each other in pairs, uh, not really as a trio, they don't really go into it as a trio. Uh, too much, but they do whisper to each other. The real conflict is between Mac and J Mac, Max and Jack. Um, Anne's in the middle. She knows she's in the middle. She knows that Max is playing her a little bit. She tried to reassure Jack in this episode that you know she knows she knows Max is dangerous, and she's aware of her own feelings, and you know how she's vulnerable to Max's influence. Uh, but that, you know, she just, you know, Jack, just do this with me and, you know, nothing can come, you know, don't, don't be weird about it. Don't be jealous. Don't be pushing against it. And she can't get between us then. Um, good advice. Um, and he's getting, he's getting a crew, he's getting a crew. And he wanted to know if, uh, Flint had got that Urka gold, so hmm, might he might he want to have a little a little taste of that? Uh, get there first. Although he doesn't have a warship, and that's that's important. Um, everything else. Billy's back. Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. He's lying. He's not telling untruths. He is lying. Uh, with sand on his face, and nobody's giving him anything to drink, as far as I can see. Uh, but he has regained consciousness, and maybe he'll factor into things 
in the next few episodes, maybe this episode. And I wonder what he has to say for himself. I wonder what that dude who is with him on the beach has to do with anything. And I guess we'll find out. But the first thing we want to find out is will Flint and his ship fire on that fort? Because that fort is the only thing keeping the Spanish and the English from overrunning the territory. Let's go. Now, who's getting it on here? It's the three of them. I wonder if Jack and Max ever touch each other during this entire thing. Oh, there's touching. <laughs> and it's like, how dare you? Don't touch him. Look. They fired. No, it's all the way over here. I must try. Why? I'm the only one who can stop him, Pastor. I'm the only one who knows why he's doing it. Maybe he's doing it for Thomas. Maybe that's the whole thing. This entire battle is being waged over the pardon provision. Without it, I could get this passed in a matter of hours. The rest, the rest of it is meaningless without the pardons. So I know. Which is why we'll keep on fighting. I know your father is a formidable adversary. So am I. The more public it gets, the more visible it gets, the greater the liability I will be for you. Liability? The rumours about me and my relationship with him have gone quiet the past few months. He's been away and I'm concerned that... They'll come back when he he's now that he's back. So someone might discover you and he shared a bed. I'm concerned. He doesn't care. They might dig past that and discover something far more damaging. About him? That he... Just gonna throw us out there? <laughs> that he prefers the company of men? Is that where they're going with that? The pain it caused him to... To do what he did. Billy's just hearing about this now. <laughs> He's like... Killed him. Yes. He's still captain. Um, that's a longer story. But yes. Oh. That with the gold still sitting on that beach, he represents our best, perhaps our only chance of retrieving it. That's why I'm here. Your word will challenge Flint. Now the thought crossed my mind. Yeah. I'm going to see my brothers now. Uh, he's chained. Has anyone given him a glass of water yet? That's all I'm concerned about. Poor Billy. Three months. Feels like twice as long. By the time I left, men were beginning to occupy the fort. Right now, there's no law in Nassau. As a matter of political reality, our plan is dead. Not necessarily. The Navy hasn't made its case yet. Lieutenant, may I speak with you in private, please? Uh, now? Okay. We don't really have time for this, Mrs. Barlow. Uh, but, uh, okay. Take off her clothes. It's clear to me now that what lies ahead is the road to ruin. And I'm asking you to stop this right now. No. If we... Speaking of going too far. You don't like it? No. No, no, no. It's quite good. Ooh, it's his nose, his flag symbol. Flint's one is like a, a goofy skeleton. Good. Articles are inside. I've seen the draft articles. I'm fine with them as is. At the men eight, they got some changes you and I ought to discuss. Yes. What do you mean? And sit down. You were saying something about the articles. It can wait. What are you? What are you? You won't speak in front of her? Excuse me. She'll cut your balls off. This morning. You and Max. Oh, you know what? I ain't got no right. Don't touch her, please. We'll get through it. Always do. Everybody's jealous and of everybody else. And wary of everything else those three you see the world as it is you see its truths and how to navigate them how to bend them to your will it's men like thomas need men like you to protect them from the world and that is what i am asking you to do what's been going on in this house isn't just some affair no no it isn't but since when did you care what people think they hang men for this alfred hamilton does not want those pardons issued. And when he finds out what has been going on in this house, he will use it to ruin us. I've known Admiral Hennessy since I was a boy. 
He's the closest thing I have to a father. Let me raise the plan with him. Seek his counsel. There's no risk in that. That's that's enough damage. Prepare to move ashore. Ready the long boats. How many did we lose? Seven. No matter how many of his men we kill, he can find more. It's too great of a force to defeat if we attempt to fight the body of it. But the only way to beat it. Cut off the head? Is to cut off its head. Yeah, that's what I said. He's good at doing that. That's his specialty. Find Mr. Silver for me, if you please, Captain. The faster we retake the fort, the faster we'll be back on the water and route to the Urka with my men in your service. Adhere to our plan. You will have your gold and I'll have my fort. Hmm. Oh, you she is. I have come upon some information which changes things for you. Yeah. If we act right now, we can prevent a catastrophic loss to the Empire. Military pardons. I know how it will be perceived, sir. I told you when this began to be careful of those people. I thought you'd heard me, son. Oh, that's a nice mob of a show. Oh, shit. Um, get out of here. This isn't your house. You arrived just before you did. And you flagrantly violated that trust. Sir, I don't know what he told you, but... Yes, you do. It is too profane. It is too loathsome to be dismissed. This is your end. Sir, please let me explain. Be grateful it didn't happen on the gallows. In my own house? Uh -oh. That not even the faintest whisper of it would reach me? You are summarily discharged from service. No charges will be drawn against you, provided you leave London quietly uh, mm. and are neither seen nor heard from again. I swear it all falls apart for him. If either like, the Earl or I feel that this legitimately falls apart. I like the picture of the ships on fire in the background. Matches the mood. It happened quickly before I could do anything to stop it. What they took him? They took him. Took him? Took him where? Bethlehem Royal Hospital. He is to be committed there owing to his uncontrollable grief over having learned of my affair with you. Oh. That is what the story will be, James. We're gonna get him out of there. We can't. You watch me. You think you're angry about this? I'm beyond that. I am enraged! We need to get you moving. When we get to the harbour, I'll arrange passage for you. Anything you need that you don't have, I'll He's see so you in the meantime. Back from a lengthy journey, and not one of them has felt the need to have a go. Maybe. They was told to stay the fuck away from it. Thank you, love. Uh-oh. What's, what's going on with this Thank guy? You, love. What's this? We need to talk about these articles. What's the matter with the articles? A few things. Max. Yes, it's unorthodox to entitle a woman to a share of the profits, but this is clearly a special case. I think he has the a problem, problem with Anne as well. Ain't the only item the men took issue with. Ooh, I wonder what this conversation is going to be like. I have a bad feeling. There was a complication in the finalising of the articles. It's the whole share, isn't it? It is. Resistance to the idea mm. of formalising her interest in writing. Which That's the one of them. Two issues I find more troubling. What's that? You. They don't want me nor the whole. It was put to me that they will accept one or the other. How are we going to get her to keep turning out those leaves when she finds out she ain't getting her own share? Oh no. Oh no. Jack, don't say it. He says with his, with his eyes, he's saying... What? It's only temporary. The See, this is, this is a wedge between them and now. And will be back sailing with us like this never happened. You chose her. It just requires this sacrifice in the short term to ensure it. Hmm. And... And... He's gonna... This is bad. He's gonna need to do a lot to make up for this. Mr. Gates is absent. The latter role was unfilled. Yep. I thought I could fill it. The new Gates. How the fuck did you manage that? I tried to tell you once. I'm a hard man not to like. <laughs> and at the end of the day, and all else True. being equal... We like him. <laughs> now, if Randall says it, you gotta go along with it. When asked by the men, what will you tell them happened on the bow of the walrus that night? What did happen? The water. Maybe focusing on how I went in 
Perhaps you should be more worried about the thing that took me out. Hmm. I'm worried about that. Long, sooner or later, you need to release me. You have no choice. I would say I have some choice. Not well, he's here, you don't. We like him too. <laughs> <laughs> Randall's like the audience. Gonna let him free? Careful now, Billy. You left me here because I wasn't your son. No. Oh. Yes. I was focused on the work, and I saw no future in which a daughter would have a meaningful part in that. But uh, he sees he was wrong now, right? But Eleanor, look how wrong I was. Yeah. Look what you have accomplished here. I could not be proud of you for it. I'm still wary of him. You can use the part upstairs. Captain Vane and his men slaughtered another pirate crew in the bay. Okay, I'll be was to steal a hostage being held by that crew, a girl, who was now held in that fort. You pulled me away from my men, out of concern. Tell her the, the name. Girl's name. Tell him the name. Is Abigail Ash. Mm -hmm. You need to obtain her from Captain Vane, alive and unharmed, and you need to return her to Carolina to her father. You're going to explain to Peter what it is you're trying to accomplish here. A Nassau that can self-govern. Pardons for your men and a stake in their own future. What you want! And he's going to help you achieve it. We tried it before, it didn't work. It's a different time. What the fuck do you think I am fighting for? I think you're fighting for the sake of fighting. And the only way to keep that voice in your head from driving you mad. What are you talking about? The one telling you to be ashamed of yourself for having loved him. Hmm. Well now. Didn't, ex didn't see that coming. I saw it with Thomas, but not with um, Flint. The only thing I'm ashamed of is that I didn't do something to save him. That instead I listened to you. The book? <laughs> Was it? Hmm. It was for him? Those words? Yeah, oh, yeah, mm. that's nice, nice, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, dude, forgot about this guy coming. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> the last episode was a uh, cliffhanger, fire. This one, this one isn't a cliffhanger. These two are like brothers, Thane and... Uh, they'll beat each other up and then they'll come to an understanding somehow <laughs> that's what I think um, but it is a funny way to end that scene that was very long and brooding and emotional and then just having Vane run in with the knife uh, <laughs> this show is funny uh, I don't know if they were intending it to be like that but it broke the broke the tension. So yeah, interesting episode. They did hint about Thomas and Thomas's relationship with his wife. You know, she was always, you know, scandalous and rumors about her. Uh, and I thought maybe they had an open relationship. Uh, then it became clear that Thomas knew about. Her and Flint. I'm calling him Flint, even though his name is, you know, doesn't matter. Um, and then this episode, I was when she was like, they might dig deeper and find out about other things. Then I was like, oh, maybe he's, you know, Thomas is. This is why he's fine with everything because he's gay. Uh, but I didn't think that Flint would be in like that a threesome of. Of relationships uh, so that was a that was a big surprise um, 
But I like the way they worked in that book at the start and at the end with the, the little dedication. It meant one thing at the start of the episode and then a completely different thing at the end. Very nice. Jack and Dan are... Mm, this is their lowest point. Before that, all that stuff with Max was just... You know, they could deal with that. It was nothing. They were all benefiting from it. They were all uh, moving forward, prospering. It was it was fine. But now, Jack had to make a sacrifice, and he chose to sacrifice Anne instead of Max. Um, and she's taken that to heart. And that's going to be a tough wound to heal. Uh, you can certainly see his reasons for it. Uh, his, in the, from a head point of view, it makes sense. From a heart point of view, it's it doesn't. <laughs> so he chose one over the other, and maybe he chose the wrong way. He's right that his way means that in the long run they'll be better situated and more prosperous but in the short term he's just kicked her to the curb kicked her you know spat in her face it's it's bad um the fort got demolished it got about i don't know about 30 percent knocked off uh, not fully. It should only take maybe a month to repair. So, for for my structural engineering brain, I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm unsure where that's going. I guess Vane was saying that you know we can't hold it. Uh, we're outnumbered. There's no way to beat the, the force that's coming, so I gotta take out the head. So that's why in the end of the episode he came straight at Flint with the knife. Uh, I'm looking forward to the start of the next episode where they work out their differences. Hey, maybe one of them will die. I doubt it, but this show could happen. Um, and then we have Eleanor's father, who I don't really like. Don't trust him. All these speeches and all that stuff you know he means he means some of it he clearly loves his daughter but I think he should just uh, go away and let her do what, what she's doing um, um, I think that's most of it Silver kept Billy in chains for the episode so we could talk to him, figure out what Bill, where Billy's mind was at, what he was thinking of doing. And in the end, he relented, let him out. Um, Randall was never going to let Silver, you know, do anything bad towards Billy. Because we like him. <laughs> yeah. So for the first time in a while, I don't know what's next. I don't know how many days have passed since we were on the beach in episode one. Uh, but I do know that we should move soon if we want to have any chance of, you know, getting it. Uh, maybe we can wait and try again at a different time. But uh, then we wouldn't have the schedule <laughs> for it. So, I feel like it's now or never. Um, yeah, interesting. Things took a turn in this episode. And uh, I guess we'll find out what happens next week. Uh, so, thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.